What's going on, Joy-Con gods? Have you used your hands to create a beautiful reality for yourself today? Well, anyways, I'm making this little message to let you know that YouTube came at me heavy with the copyright hammer the other day. While I was watching JoJo, but I got punished for it. I can't stream on TR1 Iceman anymore, but don't worry, I'm not deleting this channel. There's no more wildness going down. I'm at the end of my journey. I've, I've, I'm I've, good now, but I have to make a new channel for streams, so that will be linked in the description. I'm calling it E-Live, just kind of like my D-Live, but just E-Live. Uh, we were actually going to be playing Minecraft on that bitch tomorrow. If that's something that you deem up your alley, then you might as well come through for that as well. Uh, hopefully I see your ass there. What's the game that we all know Etika loves slash hates? It's motherfucking Minecraft, but it's not the game that I've been playing as of late. I've been spending the last few days literally just playing a bunch of Smash Brothers. I was supposed to put out a video and I didn't. That's going to change very soon, don't worry. There's been so much with me and Minecraft over the years. I mean, ever since I played this game back when I first started my first YouTube channel on here, it's it's just been taking off. I've been seeing endless memes about the shit. There's a trailer for this thing called Minecraft World or Minecraft earth whatever the fuck and apparently it brings minecraft into real life kind of the way that pokemon go brings pokemon into real life i already know that this is going to be something that a lot of people want me to fucking react to so i'm going to be doing it today as you take a look around at the website you can kind of see the point of what they're talking about now they got this phone right here which has all this minecraft stuff being built up and you see they have a castle in real life. The augmented reality experience and Minecraft put together, I don't know how necessarily well this is going to work, but it looks fucking cool from what I'm seeing so far. In this first ever look at Minecraft Earth, discover how the reality bending, world blending abilities of AR bring the blocks to life. Armed with just your phone and your creativity, you now have the power to Minecraft your world. I wonder if Microsoft and Mojang started working on this before or after the Pokemon Go craze. It kind of makes sense that they would follow up with their own AR option. The potential that it has to be good or not, well, that remains to be seen. Let's take a look at what the Minecraft Earth reveal trailer is actually looking like. Blocks. Oh shit, here we go again. Uh, what, you about to build something in this lady's house? Whoa. Wait a second. No way. So, will it remember where the structures are? That's crazy. Will it do it by GPS? Where it, like, it can literally just keep something there? Like, you, you can come back tomorrow and build it more? What the fuck? Imagine how other people will be able to see your creations. Hold on a second. It's starting to hit me with the potential of this. Wow. She almost got blown the fuck back. This trailer is interesting. It's showing maybe what their visual, like what they what they perceive people will kind of see this as, but it's not showing me what it actually really is. So, what do you think? Not bad. Not bad is good. Not bad is good. Right on top of the crib, nigga? Wait a second, will you be able to just grief anybody you want? From what I saw in the trailer at least, the potential is there. It's exciting to say the least. Will you be able to have a world generated and you just walk around and see what kind of stuff is there? Will GPS location be used to make sure that my house that I build on top of my own house stays there for all time unless somebody comes around and blows it up? Minecraft has always been a game about creativity, but Minecraft Earth gives you the chance to express yourself on a whole new scale. Share your masterpieces and delve into creations and you can see the girl has uh, a structure of this whole creative field here built up on her table collaborate meet with like-minded crafters and create masterpieces together work on a smaller scale with friends before taking your build out into the wild at full size so i'm guessing that's what we're seeing with this chick in the first image because the size of this whole thing is pretty small in comparison to what these guys are looking at this is an entire fucking castle that they built here is it weird that i feel myself getting excited about this i can see i can see myself playing this over pokemon go but the only question is will, will my phone be able to handle it like all these structures that you're looking at at the same time as if my phone didn't blow up enough with pokemon go i think with minecraft earth your shit's about to be looking like snake c4 from smash brothers nigga is there going to be a war between factions the minecraft earthers and the pokemon goers infringing on each other's territory will there be bloodbaths thanks to this game the reason i ask that is because they're kind of taking the same exact strategy as pokemon go they're making the game free to play and it's coming out this summer so those are the two aspects that are going to make this completely a fucking explosion i want to see how it will be in terms of its user interface 
without the transparent lens thing that's kind of used to show what it'll look like. I mean, I get that they're trying to get people excited, but people like me who are already kind of a little bit on the skeptical side whenever it comes to these AR games, they must really have this thing locked down if they're showing it off the way that they have been.